Hello, welcome to the workshop. I'm George and today we're doing something very simple. We're fixing a broken mount on a, on a video light. Yeah, video light. I know, something completely unrelated to what we normally do, isn't it? Fix things. So what I have here is a Sony video light and it has the problem that the bottom mount has broken off and is generally pretty useless because without it you can't do anything. I looked on eBay and I thought right okay how much is another one and these are going for around about 50 60 pounds on eBay and I really don't want to spend that much but what I did find was this on eBay. Now this is the same thing but different. This is the HVL20DM which takes one sort of battery and if I release the battery from this this is the HVL20DW2 which takes the standard NP series battery which work on most camcorders, um, video lights, pretty much anything to do with photography videography that's that is a standard what i thought to do was because i found this on ebay and this is only 10 pounds i was going to change the bottom spigot and it looks and i say looks fairly straightforward to do because there seems to be a screw there and possibly one more screw in here this is brand new by the way this this other one you can see that physically the the chassis, the mount, the body of this is the same size. It's just the type of battery that is different. So I'm going to get a little screwdriver and I'm going to start by undoing this base screw. And I'm going to see if that's all I need to do to remove the top cover. Well, apart from slice through all the stickers. And that one that side. Okay, so that still feels fairly rigid. I wonder if there is a screw underneath there. Or how is this fitted together? It certainly seems wedged in let's let's try by taking the front lens off this comes off to access the bulbs so what i want to do is i want to get a cloth because i don't want to handle these bulbs these are halogen bulbs and if you get grease on them they tend not to work very well let's take this out Oh, there we go. Just need a little bit of brute force and ignorance. So that comes apart like that nicely. And there are two screws here holding the bit I want in. So this makes things quite, quite straightforward, really. And that is the bit I want. So let's take apart my one. So there's the broken one. Let's get the other one, put it back on there. Do, 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 do. You want to fit in. So that's that. Let's put the little button back in the back there. Let's align that with that. And the switch should, and I say should, 
let's just make sure yeah the switch is going back in its rightful little place yes that's in the right place there that's snapped together there let's quickly do up these screws before anything gets lost bulb two bulbs and we can put its front lens on like that get the battery slide it on And we have video light with a working spigot clamp to fit on top of the cameras. Either my video cameras that I'm using at the moment or I can fit it to my DSLR or any other thing that I feel that needs a, a video light on. Now it's a 20 watt light, it's very bright and it's very useful. What I'm going to do with this one is I am going to put it back together and keep it as spares obviously just going to uh, close this up make sure that it goes back together like that and really that's all it is to repair the base spigot on this particular unit if you can't get the DW at a reasonable price then just buy the DM and change over the bits you need to change over as I say the housings are almost identical they're not totally identical because of the battery scent switch but you can get away with things like the broken spigot the side buttons not so much the circuit board because they would be different for the different type of battery but generally you know most of it is compatible you can just screw it all back together and for £10, it's a lot cheaper than trying to buy a new one from Sony if you've ruined your video light. And what else have I got out of this? Well, not only have I got my new spigot, I've also got a new front lens, two new bulbs, which will fit my old one. So I've, I've saved on the spare parts just by buying a complete new unit from eBay. If you like this video... Go check out one of these, up here, down here. Subscribe button's over here. You could subscribe if you haven't already, and if you haven't, go for it. You might find you like some of my other content. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you stay safe in these wonderful lockdown times that we're all in. Bye for now.